and gentlemen, we are live from Sydney, Australia. It's a fucking shithole with a shit fucking concrete jungle fucking view and a shithole of a fucking apartment. But do you know what? It could be worse. I could be fucking dry and thirsty. But ladies and gentlemen, a couple of green goblins are gonna sort that shit out. Are you? Ladies and gentlemen, we are live, and as you can see, I'm in my monkey suit for tonight's boys night. And uh, let me just tell you, I've got a few predictions for tonight. We've got the cityscape behind me starting to look half decent, got the lights going on. I'm in the monkey suit, no more cowboy hat anymore, but I'm going to have to drink some more of these green goblins because <laughs> they're going to drip feed us the beers all night, I'm sure. But, um, let me just uh, refresh. I've got some predictions for tonight. So tonight, Joshua is going to be an absolute legend as always. Steve, he's going to, uh, uh, if Steve doesn't already know, which I reckon he does, because I had a prank call for him from him today. Um, I didn't tell him. <laughs> I was sworn to secrecy. Um, so Steve will be surprised, but he'll give me a big hug. It's, it'll be good to see him as well. Um, I reckon Michael might start some drama because that's the way that Michael likes to play. Intruders, look, I think I wouldn't be surprised if they cause some drama, only because I know old mates in their in their ear, and they're they're not actually real couples. Um, Good to see Luke, he's a f***ing legend as well. Um, it'll be interesting how Chris goes. Chris might be a bit quiet, a bit shy from me, I think, considering he aided and embedded the cheating of my darling wife with Michael. But, um, yeah, look, I'm just happy to have a good night tonight, drink some, uh, some beers. I'm sure uh, tonight's not gonna go smoothly. That's not how these cats like to play. So here we are, the delightful maths <laughs> boys night. So I rocked up, had a good time with the boys uh, very briefly. Everyone starts trying to chat a little bit, trying to sort out some of the things they've heard. The funny thing is, uh, Ivan rocks up, he grabs a beer, uh, and they won't serve me a beer. I've had three beers all night. Um, so I'm out. F this is another example of them promising the world and they're delivering a page out of a fucking atlas. It's fucking just bizarre. So I'm fucking done. I walked off the show, got myself a cab charge, uh, and that's that. I'll, I'll go home. They fly me out here for two days. Um, flights, accommodation, all that, for me to be on there for fucking ten minutes. All because they couldn't send me a fucking beer. Ivan went to the bar, I asked for a, a beer as well, and they said that. So we've been told not to give you one. Uh, only a barn. So I, I'm so sober right now. I could find fly a fucking aeroplane. These these bunch of fucking weak fucking rubber necking fucking dogs can't even. They said we'll fly you out. You have a few drinks with the boys. This and that. They can't even deliver on that. Let alone a wife for me to fall in love with. It's it's just absolutely bizarre. This is this is exactly. A perfect example of them going, no, oh, no, come out for a few drinks to the boys, no worries, take two days off work, no worries. They can't even serve me a beer. I've been up there for an hour and not a single beer's been served. When I finally, there was somebody at the bar to serve a beer, they refused. 